Today's video is on types of lattices and this topic is related to the discrete mathematics. So here are the types of lattices. The first one is bounded lattice, the second one is complete lattice, third one is isomorphic and next one is distributive lattice and complemented lattice. So let us discuss all the definitions of these types of lattices. The first one here is bounded lattice. See here when we say that the lattice is bounded, a lattice is L is said to be a bounded lattice if and only if it has a greatest element and a least element. So if any lattice L is said to be a bounded lattice if and only if it has a greatest element and the least element. For example, if you consider this one, so 1, 3, 9, 7. So 1 divides 3, 3 divides 9 and 9 divides 27. So here the least element here is 1. So if you observe the least element here is 1 and the greatest element here is 27. So this is a bounded lattice. And coming to this, so A, B, C, D. So there is a single top here and we have a greatest element D. Whereas we have two least element and which is not a bounded lattice. So we say that it is not a bounded lattice. So so it should have a single greatest element and the single least element. So this is not a bounded lattice. And coming to this A, B, C, D. So it has a single least element and the greatest element is D here and the least element is A. So this is a bounded lattice. And coming to the next example, P of S, the power set is a bounded lattice. So let us consider S is equal to A, B, C. And here the power set is phi. A, B, C, A, B, B, C, C, A and A, B, C. So here I will show you. First of all this, this value will be 5. And this is A. And this is going to be B. And this is going to be C. So here is an edge relation between these two. And the next one here is A, B. So the relation between this one A comma b so there is a relation between a and b and next one bc see here there is a relation between bc b c b and c they are related and the next one is a and c so a and c is here that is a comma c so here this is a b this is BC and this is A and C. And next one, these are all related. That is A, B, C. So this is A, B, B, C and C, A. So this is the hash diagram. So here, the least element here is 5. So we have a least element as. So this is the least element. And here we have the greatest element. So this is a bounded lattice. So here this is a bounded lattice and next coming to which definition the complete lattice. So let us discuss what is a complete lattice. See here a lattice is said to be a complete lattice if each of its non-empty subsets. So here the subset has the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound. So here when we say that the lattice is a complete lattice. A lattice is said to be a complete lattice if each of its non-empty subsets, the subsets has the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound here. For example, if you consider this one, L is equal to 1, 2, 3, 6. So here, the operation is divisibility. L divisibility is a complete lattice. So here, this is the hash diagram. So 1 divides 3, 1 divides 2, 2 divides 6, 3 divides 6. So according to the hash diagram, so we have to prove that this is a complete lattice. So we have to consider the subsets. So now considering the subsets, so from this lattice, 1, 2, 3, 6. So the subsets here is 1, 2, 1, 2, 6. And 1, 2, 6. So here is the lattice, main lattice L is equal to, see here, this is 1, 2, 3, 6. And these are all the subsets. And we shall show that the subsets has the least upper bound and the greatest lower bound. See here, the subset 1, 2. So according to the hash diagram, this is 1, 2. And according to the hash diagram, 1, 2 and 6. 
so this will be so this will be the hash diagram and 136 so this is 136 the hash diagram will be 136 so we have to prove that it has the greatest lower bound and the least upper bound so here the greatest lower bound is 1 and the least upper bound is 2 so if you compare if you have if you take two elements 1 and 2 so 1 will be the greatest lower bound and 2 will be the least upper bound and coming to 1 2 and 3 see here so here for each and every element we have the greatest lower bound and the least upper bounds so here in general for if i take 1 and 2 so 1 will be the greatest lower bound and 2 will so this 2 will be the least upper bound when comparing to 2 and 6 so 2 will be the greatest lower bound and uh, 6 will be the least upper bound see here so 1 and 6 if i consider 1 and 6 1 will be the greatest lower bound and 6 will be the least upper bound see here if i consider 1 comma 6 so here if i consider 1 comma 6 so 1 will be the greatest lower bound and uh, 6 will be the least upper bound and coming here that is 1 3 6 1 divides 3 3 divides 6 so here if i take 1 and 3 1 will be the greatest lower bound and 3 will be the least upper bound so when i take 3 and 6 3 will be the greatest lower bound and 6 will be the least upper bound when i consider 1 and 6 1 will be the greatest lower bound and 6 will be the least upper bound so each and every subset see here each and every subset has a least upper bound and the greatest lower bound then we say that the given lattice is a complete lattice see here so therefore the lattice is a complete lattice and the next definition here is so after complete lattice we have to discuss about the isomorphic lattice see here what is an isomorphic lattice so let's get started with an isomorphic lattice two lattices l1 and l2 are said to be isomorphic lattices if there is a bijection from l1 to l2 what is a bijection bijection so bijection is 1 1 and on two properties so if it satisfies 1 1 and on 2 we say that there is a bijection between two lattices l1 and l2 f maps from l1 maps to l2 such that f of a join b is equal to f of a join f of b and f of a meet b is equal to f of a meet f of b if it satisfies these two conditions we say that the given lattices are isomorphic so we say that so if it satisfies the two properties so which property that is a join b is equal to f of a join f of b and a f of a meet b is equal to f of a meet f of b so if we consider the example here consider the example here determine whether the lattices are isomorphic or not so this is the first lattice l1 is equal to a b c d and l2 is equal to 1 2 3 4 so here we have to consider the two lattices so that is l1 is equal to this is a b c d and l2 is equal to this is 1 2 3 and 4 so here it is a bijective bijection there is a bijection from l1 to l2 so here f maps from so f maps from this is l1 to l2 so that is f maps from what is l1 here so l1 is nothing but this is a b c d and what is l2 this is 1 2 3 4 so there is a mapping that is from l1 to so this is l1 and this is l2 so this is l2 so here they map each other so f is 1 1 so it is very clear that f is 1 1 and the next one here is so it can be written as f maps f is equal to so this is nothing but a comma 1 so b comma 2 and c comma 3 and this is d comma 4 and next one we have to prove that so here from this we can say that f of a is equal to 1 so f of b is equal to 2 and c here f of c is equal to 3 and f of uh, d is equal to 4 and now we have to check these two properties so in order to check these two properties see here f of a comma so f of a join b is equal to f of a join f of b so now i consider the two elements here so let 
So first of all, I have to take the elements from B. So B comma C belongs to the lattice L1. So if I substitute here, so if I substitute here B comma C in this property, so F of that is B join C is equal to this is F of B join F of C. Now, now see what happens here. So what is B join C? From this, what is B join C? B join C is nothing but the least upper bound that is D. So which will be equal to F of D? Here, what is F of B? So F of B is nothing but, see here, F of B is nothing but, uh, see here, F of B is equal to 2 here. So 2 join, what is F of C? F of C is equal to 3. And now from this diagram, if you check, 2 join 3. So 2 join 3 is nothing but the least upper bound. This is 4. And what is f of d here? So f of d is nothing but 4 here. So we have f of d. f of d is equal to 4. So the, it is satisfied. The first property is satisfied. So what is satisfied here? So f of a join b is equal to this is f of a join f of b the first one is satisfied and the next property here is f of this is a meet b is equal to f of a meet this is f of b and now again we have to consider the elements so again we have to take the two elements as b comma c so let b comma c belongs to let b comma c belongs to l1 so if i substitute the same thing f of b meet c is equal to this is f of b meet f of c so b meet c what is f of b meet c so from this we see that this is b c what is meet this is the greatest lower bound a from the hash diagram so we have f of a here what is f of b from this c what is f of b here is 2 so here this is to meet what is f of c f of c is nothing but 3 so this is 3 what is 2 meet 3 from this so 2 meet 3 is nothing but the greatest lower bound here 1 so this is 1 what is f of a here so f of a is nothing but 1 here so this is 1 so 1 is equal to 1 satisfied therefore we say that f of a meet b is equal to f of a meet f of b Hence, two properties are satisfied. Therefore, we say that F maps from L1 to L2 is a homomorphic. Uh, so, this one F maps from L1 to L2 is an isomorphic. Isom is isomorphic. Therefore, the given lattice. So, given lattice, given lattices L1 and L2 are isomorphic lattices are isomorphic so this is how we have to show that how we have to prove so we have to prove these two conditions if these two conditions holds then we say that uh, the two lattices l1 and l2 are said to be isomorphic lattices see here the next property here is after isomorphic lattices so we have discussed bounded lattice complete lattice isomorphic lattice and the next one here is distributed lattice and Complemented lattice. So, what is a distributed lattice? A lattice L less than or equal to is said to be a distributed lattice if and only if, if satisfies the following properties. So, these properties are so important that is A join B meets C is equal to A is distributed to B as well as C that is A join B meet A join C. And next one A meet B join C is equal to A is distributed to B as well as C that is A meet B join A meet C or else this is definition 2 so this is definition 2 and this is definition 1 so according to this definition a lattice l see here the lattice l is said to be a distributed lattice if every element has at most one or even doesn't exist don't matter that it has a complement it should have a complement so i have made number of problems on these distributed lattice so those examples go through those videos and it it will immensely help you and the next one the last one is complemented lattice a lattice l join meet 0 comma 1 is a bounded lattice so this lattice is bounded so 0 is the least element and 1 is the greatest element and a, if we take a belongs to the lattice then an element b belongs to l is called the complement of a if 
a join c here this is a join b so a join b should be equal to the greatest element and a meet b should be equal to the least element so this is definition one so according to the definition one so a join b is equal to the greatest element and a meet b is equal to the least element and according to the second definition a lattice l join meet zero comma one is called a complemented lattice if every element of l has at least one complement so it should have at least one complement so every element here every element of l should have at least one complement so these are all the definitions i have discussed and these are the most important lattices types of lattices the first one is bounded complete isomorphic distributive and complemented hope you all guys got an idea and please go through all the videos and you will be finding so many examples related to the distributive lattice as well as complemented lattice and thank you so much and if you really like you know what to do please subscribe to this channel please follow the playlist and definitely it will be very very helpful to you and share it with your friends and leave a comment below thank you so much